Breaking tonight, American soldier Bo Bergdahl is arriving back in the States as we get new reports about why he left his post in the first place. The Daily Beast website reporting tonight that it has new letters that Bergdahl allegedly sent to his family while he was still in captivity. They say they got these and the Taliban has confirmed that they came from Bergdahl. The notes allegedly reveal Bergdahl making excuses for why he walked off. The misspellings here are his. Quote, tell those involved in the investigation that there are more sides to the situation. The circumstance from the beginning of my time in Afghanistan, from immediate top to bottom, were bad for troopers, especially in my platoon. Joining me now, two former members of Bergdahl's platoon. Cody Full is a former Army specialist who once roomed with Bergdahl during training. And on the phone with us is Evan Buto, who's a former sergeant and team leader who was directly in charge of Bergdahl. Guys, good of you to be here again tonight. And so let me start with you on this, Cody. Uh, having read this, th these two letters, one from 2012, one to, from 2013, that he sent back to his family, the Daily Beast says they've confirmed with family members and other officials in the United States that these are legit. Uh, handwritten by him while in captivity, delivered by the Red Cross. What do you make of it? So now we know that he deserted for a fact. He just admitted in these letters that he deserted. Um, as far as his excuses go, they still do not excuse his actions. It was all rough on everybody there. Uh, the rest of us were still in the same conditions he was, and we decided to uphold our oath and still fight for our fellow Americans and not desert. Because the viewers should know he said things like this. Uh, Clear-minded understanding from leadership was lacking, if not non-existent. Again, all the misspellings and grammatical errors are his. The conditions were bad and looked to be getting worse for the men that were actually the ones risking their lives from attack, as well as Afghan elements. And he goes on to say, there are more sides to the situation. Please tell D.C. to wait for all evidence to come in. Ev Evan, as, as his leader... Uh, your thoughts, Evan is with us by phone, on his, his attempt to blame this on leadership, lacking leadership, the reason he walked away. You know, as I look at the letters uh, and I read what he said, uh, a lot of people have problems with their leadership or their bosses in, in any job you have. Um, I, I, I had problems with, with leadership and with, uh, with my superiors and things that they said. Um, everybody does. The conditions we were living in, yeah, we were sleeping on the ground. We were sleeping in holes. Uh, we're out on the front line. Uh, the security is lacking. We, we, we were, we were uh, a little low on personnel, but that's the life of an infantryman. Um, so to say that that's an excuse for him to leave, um, there is no excuse. Uh, we all stayed behind. We signed on the letter or on, on that line to say we're going to serve our country and we're going to follow orders. And, and these letters just prove that he did desert and that everything that we have said is true. And there's no excuse for what he did. Um, we all were there. We all were experiencing the same thing. And, and we all stayed behind. And like Cody said, we, uh, you know, we fulfilled that oath that we made to serve our country and, and not desert it. Cody, does this change your view of the prisoner swap at all in terms of, I presume our, our government knew about these. They, they probably had read what we're reading tonight. Well, uh, you know, I'd like to see when the government knew these were delivered to his family, whether it was a couple of days ago or they knew at the time uh, as these letters were sent a few years ago. And uh, I wonder if that would prove that they also knew the whole time that he was a deserter. Calling into question the trade in your mind? Uh, well, if they knew he was a deserter, it's kind of questionable why they would do this. Evan, you know, it, we've heard a lot about Bo Bergdahl over the past couple of days about how he was in the Coast Guard but had some sort of a, a you know, problem that led to him being, you know, not kicked out but, but pushed out, uh, an uncharacterized discharge back in 2006. Now they're talking about his mental state and questioning whether he was really in, you know, all there uh, when it comes to competence and ability to make decisions. Your thoughts on that? Does that soften this situation for you? For me, uh, no, it doesn't soften it for me. Um, I think that anybody who decides to walk away from their post and uh, from their fellow soldiers in the middle of Afghanistan, yeah, I think anyone who does that is definitely has some type of mental um, mental shortcoming or something to think that they could they could go do that. But having said that, and from all my interactions with him, from the time he came to our unit in Alaska through training and into the deployment, I mean, there was just never anything that... I or anyone else in the platoon would ever have seen as him 
um, having any any mental problems whatsoever. He was very smart and he was uh, very articulate. Wanted to train. He was a good soldier. He was always on time. Um, there, there's really just nothing for us, at least. Granted, we're not medical professionals, but but I do not think that this softens what he did. He he knew what he was doing. He sent his stuff home before he left. He gathered up a knife and some water and his journal and a camera, and he, he walked away. This is something he thought about and he planned, and he walked away. So, no, that does not excuse him deserting, and he, and he still needs to be held accountable for that. Uh, this is he returns to U.S. soil tonight uh, in the wake of some lawmakers questioning why it was taking so long to get him back here so we could begin questioning him. Guys, thanks again to both of you for being here. Thank, Thank you so much for having, for having us again.